Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna behave? Mi amor. Fuck, Italia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy-ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, big man, Paolo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank-ass swamp. Fucking puta. Coño. Oh, that's just foreplay. Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me... We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit and so are you. Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> They're animals. Everybody! So those are gone! Come on out! Clara, good news? Maximas Matanzas is safe and they've actually got a decent camp here. Bad news? They don't give a shit about Libertad. Give it time, Dali. They've been through a lot. We can't beat Castillo without Dalia's voice and Paolo's discipline. You just need to help them fight. You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are the musicians too? Dalia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Papa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertad can help all of you here. Libertad? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. Segunda. Bembe deals in the church. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What's wrong with all our asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Paolo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda, you got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull, buried in the same crisp uniform. 
Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? It goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking bamboo. Danny Rojas. Thank you for securing my new port. Thought you wanted the book from the safe. Can't a man have both? Of course, Via Hudia Hotel is the real prize jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians make good money from this place. And with this book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt. But not all. Don't worry, I have more work for you. Time to pay off some debt. <laughs> I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded, so you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me, and Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Every... When the boat leaves, the boat leaves. Paolo, just spoke to our mutual friend, Bembe. What did that snake have to say? He says I do this one last dirty job for him, and you walk away clean. I'm not proud, but I do it again to get Talia and me out of Yara. Danny, I know the risk you are taking for me. I won't forget this. Thank me if I get through this in one piece. Papers. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente funded Maria's new face? Okay, go through. Bembe better be here. Beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, momento, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño, they're not going? Business expense. What the fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. Good news. Bembe's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. <gasps> Look out of you, huh? <laughs> You're Matias? You don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Talia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor. This is it. You did good, um... Danny, from Libertad. You've done this before, no painkillers? 
Give me a hand. Only true yarns get proper medical care. The rest get me. When he did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then, Paolo didn't blink. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to Castillo's paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live, thanks to you. We focus on the demo. Javier's cost enough free speech can get us an American deal. Ooh, an American record deal. A grand fucking celebration. What's going on? We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the loco everywhere. No, I painted them. And stole a fucking zebra and killed for that local priest. No bullshit, you're doing the show. What priest? One song, then we're out. Ah, oh, me amor, I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs> Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. What is it, Picho? We're gonna need to clear Marquesa's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Marquesa's got a serious light board. Picho! Gear is good to go! It's finest! We're so close, Danny! Cojone. So lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? <gasps> you look like shit. <laughs> this always happens. This always happens before a show. Hey. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los yaranos. Tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya y veras un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me traya. Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. Este día llegan respuestas definitivas, progresivas. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso seguimos tomando... Fuck Castillo! Fuck Marquesa! Fuck Paradiso! Deja de a la muerte! We don't stop, you hear me? Ya ahora será libre! Danny, protect the gear! Soldados will try to kill the broadcast! If the equipment goes down, the radar goes down! Won't let that happen. Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh yeah, smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here. It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me. A real man doesn't run! Suerte.
They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I don't think so, mi amigo. Dale. Ugh, Palo's gone, but I still gotta scream. You and I, we're gonna take the war straight to Maria Marquesa. I've been waiting to do this a long time. First, her Ministry of Culture blacklisted us. Then they kidnapped me, tried to brainwash me, silenced me. Well, we're going to censor la fucking censura, Danny. Her propaganda, billboards, advertising, her whole rum factory. We're going to fuck it up, bankrupt her. By the time we're through, Marquesa won't even have any ass lift money left. Her fucking propaganda machine took our voice, so we got only one option left. Our bullets. How's he? Our show was a shitstorm. Battle ran. Maximus Matanzas is dead. I'm bleeding here, and Marquesa doesn't have a scratch on her. We hit her rum factory, billboards. Bitch did not buy a fake eyelash. We're not going to stop till she hears us. Marquesa's doing a Viviro tour for the foreign press. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Heard you got press passes. I wanna join the tour and give her a one-on-one -on -one performance she can't ignore. Get me? Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvia Balboa Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Now. Do something. Go ahead. Oh, don't, don't shoot. I'm just a scientist. Bitches, leave. Pavuera. Get shooting. True Yarens, welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You. You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! I thought Radio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport and he was with that fucker, Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom. Soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. 
locked up tight. I don't believe it was a bad idea. Or a Rojas. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold them out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Someone help! We're okay! new phones. They're so thin. Ah, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. <coughs> That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers. Daniel. Come on, Karina, you're safe. You're with me now. They put something in me! Oh, God, he put something in me! Uh, uh, Matias! Uh, fucking go! Oh, okay, okay, we meet there. Uh, 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 uh. Matias! <laughs> Danny, you're next. Paolo, keep her steady. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. <laughs> I can feel Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Ostalia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. See, si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. 
Bebido is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias has intel. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man. Murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions? Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now the mama and papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Sergio, it's El Guerrillas. The Guerrillas are on to you. Come to me and we will provide the protection you need. Castillo can't afford to lose you, and neither can I. We have so many more trials to complete. Hijo de puta has been tipped off. Matias, someone warned El Doctor that we were coming. Sergio's on the run. Paolo and I are on our way. Don't let that piece of shit escape. He's a fucking murderer. Stop you motherfucker! Me. Concussion, grade two or higher. Laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Vivero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. Danny, come meet me at the lookout near the Bio Vida lab. We're going to hit a doctor where he lives. About fucking time. You and I are going to kill him, Danny. And we'll also hit Castillo where it hurts most. His fucking wallet. Look at that, Paolo. You made me smile. <laughs> See you soon. Look. Building 13. This is it. Viviro, the outcasts. Everything started with a piece of shit hiding in there. Only way I see this going down right is if you and I split up. I'm calling in a few of our guerrillas. We're going to plant explosives and fuck up his Viviro operation. It's not going to be easy, but you need to get inside those buildings any way you can and kill that fucker. It's us or him today, because we're not gonna get another shot. You helped wake me up, Danny. I was running from Castillo, Maria, all of them. Now these fuckers run from me. This one's for Talia. We're going to put that sick motherfucker in the ground. What's happening, Danny? Fastest way in is with a gun. This place is built like a bunker. You'll need to find a clever way to get in those buildings. Got it. In the clear. I'm not being attacked by Gary. 
Experiments. Keep your shit together. Is the doctor going to die today? He's going to fucking die today. somewhere else. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! I thought I lost you. No. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. but when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Bicho! Sí, Capitán. Queen Clara. I mean, Heffa. Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest Comandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's not Pedro Torero. Exactly, Dan. La revolución vendrá. <laughs> mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos. Y aquí venimos <laughs> para luchar. Clara dreamed of this moment. When I met her, I wanted to get the fuck out of Yara. But she told me what... what we're fighting for. She explained it really well. And fighting with you ha has been great. Just great. <laughs> I got your back, you got mine, you know? Even if you're old or if you're young, th that's okay too. I, I like all of you. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is we're going to win. I promise. <laughs> Shit, you're really bad at this. Yeah. Wow. Danny, Clara was a great leader, but there's a reason we joined Libertad. We're with you, Jefa. Now, let's take our country back. 
Dani, viva libertad. Viva libertad. Love you, Danny. We got you, Hero. You look like a bag of shit. Like looking in a mirror, no? Get some rest, compai. Be the legend tomorrow. Move, Danny! Lucky, what's happening? Shh. I don't want to be the one to say this, but... What do we do now? Yara needs a leader. Until we can hold elections. There's only one person I trust in this room. You better not say yourself. Yara is yours, Danny. Lo siento. No, it's not. I'm not a politician. Clara was. Maybe you are. The only reason we are standing here is because we didn't wait for one person to solve all our problems. When tyranny is law, revolution is order. Where are you going? Yara is yours. Don't fuck it up. 